Well, today is the 51st anniversary of the Supreme Court's ruling of Roe v. Wade, recognizing the right to abortion. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Amy Lutz. And I'm Evan Forrester. And since that ruling was overturned in 2022, a number of red states have restricted access to abortion. Democrats in the Pennsylvania State House introduced legislation today to do the opposite. Fox 43's Logan Perone is here to explain what the bill would do and why some say it is a step backwards. Yeah, Evan and Amy, a handful of Democratic members in the Pennsylvania House took to the state capitol today to announce they are introducing a bill to roll back on abortion restrictions enacted more than a decade ago. However, those who oppose this new proposal say it will ultimately harm women looking to get the procedure done in the Commonwealth. It's time for us to finish the job. Democratic state representatives and abortion advocates mark the anniversary of the Roe v. Wade ruling by taking aim at abortion regulations in the Commonwealth. The group says this would remove what they call unnecessary obstacles to safe abortions by rolling back targeted restrictions on abortion providers or trap laws. These type of requirements mandate specific parking lot designs, hallway widths, recovery room structures, and plumbing and ventilation systems. These requirements can be, and really are, medically inappropriate in the context of an abortion procedure. What they do is they cause barriers to receiving abortion care, and they cause delays, which increase risks to patients. The law in question was put into place in 2011 after the deaths of multiple infants and a patient at a Philadelphia abortion clinic run by provider Kermit Gosnell. They pointed a lot just to uh, building aspects and made no mention of Kermit Gosnell. Dan Bart Kowiak from the Pennsylvania Family Institute argues that rolling back the law also rolls back safeguards and runs the risk of history repeating itself. It's because of this law that you have mandated inspections, that you have regulations that are put just on any other surgical facility. Supporters of the bill say removing these requirements would prevent more clinics from closing. When you think about the fact that there's 17 clinics left in Pennsylvania, where are women who can't get access supposed to go? It would also eliminate admitting privileges to hospitals. Bart Koyak insists that safety, not politics, should determine whether these rules remain. We should be a state that should be doing all we can to make sure women have the ability to go into these facilities knowing it's not going to be a Kermit Gosnell. Uh, that there is a, a standard that they do have to follow. Since Roe was overturned, Pennsylvania has seen an increase in abortion procedures. In the latest annual abortion report from the health department, the data shows that there have been more than 1,000 more abortions in 2022 than the year prior. Now, I reached out to Planned Parenthood Keystone for a comment on the story and to see if they had seen a rise in out-of-state abortion patients in the last year. We've yet to receive a response. In the studio, Logan Perrone, Fox 43 News.